Welcome YouTube, this is my normal, normal bidding preset. No, this is my bedroom, I'm not going to do down here. Actually, this video is a failure to promote something that happened yesterday. For a full day yesterday, pretty much. 2nd of June, 2012. We were originally actually set to have a huge wrestling thing, but obviously we were allowed that, so the idea was scrapped. Mm -hmm. Then came a little Premier League ball from last season, which costs about five in the shops now since the season finished last month. And then, yeah, it caused a huge conflict where some kids came against us, basically, the winning team. And then, well, basically, this is what happened, really. It was originally Jaden Ball. He's the newest member. He hasn't been involved in many videos, but still. It was his ball, and we were playing in the mud of the late last year. And then I kicked it into the Huskies Garden. And nowadays, it's easy to knock on the door and play football. But back then, for some reason, they would never answer the door. You couldn't exactly jump in. Because you'd be risking getting ripped apart by a Husky. So, obviously, you never get it back. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I remember one person. It's been in the same part of this tree for about... That's my friend, and then Ryan, uh, Ryan pointed it out when Connor oh, look at that football and oh yeah, it's James, and I kicked him in the head. And then Ryan, if you can see it, uh, claimed it. And James allowed him to keep it, but obviously the people, Stephen, Thailand, Demi from Ron Corkett, decided to say it was theirs and they spent it. Pretty much all day trying to get it. Ryan was running into the house. They went outside for a while and they come back. We took it out to the football with. They came back. We hid it in a Dan's next door to me. garden inside a little fridge that we had outside. Hid it in there. And then I told them it was on the leave. They believed me. They went to find it. They eventually clicked on. Came back, they couldn't find it, they were left again, so we got it out, we played football with it, they came back. Basically, they kept coming back at least five or ten minutes after we got it back. So, but then this Tyler kid, he was probably the cockiest guy, and he's got a cool little list, but people took the make home and fall because he was thinking that there was some sort of corn deal with my ginger. He was trying to start my brother. He, chased, he actually chased my brother down the bungalows and threatened to fight and crash down the plane. He probably would have been down there if I hadn't literally just got there at the right time. And for some reason it was the worst because I must like jump off the wall and I got my foot stuck. Um, but yeah, they, they spent the rest of that trying to get the ball, so I went on Lenin. This is the daughter from my brother across the wall from Dale. I went on his shared roof to um, kind of hide the ball behind his back. And then Stephen came up with I saying it was his nana, so give it to him before she died, or something like that. And then, well, basically I wasn't being with some word the same. And so my cousin told the girl from Shen when I was on my way down, they noticed I had it in my back. And then, we got out of the garden, they, a few minutes later, the man should get the ball, they took it down court, the woman should get it back. Then the chase them to some deaf person's garden, and then me and Dan got over the gate alright, but um, Ryan got his head smashed off the wall and jumped by the door. So me and Dan put the ball in this garden when no one's lived for a good few months, and then it landed in a thorn bush. And they went, they left the game. And then they came back again with a stick. One tried to hit him away and then I retaliated by trying to hit him back with that. When they tried to climb the gate again, they got onto the football. Then they left and the ball was pretty much forgotten about. There was absolutely nothing to do with the ball anymore. They came back again and they kept running off, came back again. And I forgot to mention midway through this Dan did shoot them. Well, I did shoot them with the water they came back. So, um, 
I use the ink, and then my cousin is pretty frustrated at me. I mean, sorry, my auntie is also pretty frustrated at me. So I explained to her what I've just explained to you. And she says oh, I should keep on super. Now, yeah, I've just been on Facebook for a while, that's why I'm good. Not as the box. I appreciate that I'm not getting a mouthful of ruins so saying why did you do that with all the time to come around. I get it enough. I mean I get it, yeah, I'm fifteen, I'm older than practical I actually yeah, I'm older than every single one of you. Okay? But Dale, I'm only two years older than him and his mate, James. He likes going down there. I'm only two years older than him. I've known him practically all my life. We've we'll, we'll been coming down here on a regular basis for the past three years and yes at least every few weeks something's happened and it's mostly something to do between me and my brother a couple of weeks ago it was something to do with the shoe a couple of weeks before that it was something to do with his football so the one time he's actually going to get hit by somebody trying to pinch someone's ball and i'm actually there trying to stop it it's strange i mean I'm not the one who's actually um, causing all this. I mean, it all would have happened whether I was there or not. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not me. So, um, oh. I'm on YouTube. Oh. I have to restart the video. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That was the one night we just came in the room. Not the night I've just been telling you about, but oh, it's an awkward way was I am. Um, pretty awkward. Um, but anyway, carrying on. What I'm trying to say is basically, if I wasn't there, it would have been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah? Okay? I'm, I'm really saying that. If I wasn't there, Dan would have probably gone for it. If I wasn't there, Ryan would have had his ball pinch. Because if it wasn't for me getting there on time, there would have been a fight. If I hadn't got the ball back off them on numerous occasions, they would have practically bullied him for getting the football. And then, um, so that's what I'm trying to say, really, I never caused any of this. None of this has anything to do with me. I know I'm going to be mature when I'm the 15 year old, but basically, other than climbing on there and shared with them. Taking them. One of them tried taking the mic on me, so yeah, I took the mic off to see it. Yeah, that's all I do. I mean, no offence, but fair enough, if a little kid walks up down the street and says one thing to you, you don't say, oh, you know. But when they are continuously doing stuff, and at the start of this, which I also forgot to mention, they were throwing stones at us. I never feel them back, but I just continuously mock the fact that they came and climbed at me. So um, that's what I'm trying to say. It wasn't me. It was them. I can't stop them from coming into the street. But I can do more than what anyone else can do by preventing it. Repeat what happened. And obviously, he's really been tapped off by now, but might be walking and thought I was talking to myself. But, um, anyway, this is on the Wayne and Queen's official YouTube channel. And obviously, I'm not sure, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the YouTube videos back up, at least not for another few months. But, um, since we can only record for 10 minutes on my camera, we've currently only got 30 seconds left, so. I've said what I've got to say, and I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>